now becomes memory as the future arrives. Anika with the Pleiadians of Alcyone. This is the second communication from the Pleiadians of Alcyone through this contact via the League of Light, and it comes at a time when the collective breath of humanity is caught in a buildup of tension. You are all ready to exhale into a sigh of relief and see the reality of peaceful, free, and sovereign living come into being. The people of the world whose sun is near the central star of Pleiades, Alcyone, reveal more of their history and some insights into the reality you can bring about on Earth. A note from Anika. We again greet you warmly and with thanks for the moments you choose to spend with us. When last we shared our story, it had some details yet to fill in. The story of our world may seem convoluted. In many ways, it resembles your own. On far more worlds than you might think, similar patterns exist. Now that the end of the pattern is within sight, in which the repeating elements begin to lose coherence, equilibrium can re-establish itself holographically in your world and in many. Too long has it been since you knew of your stellar neighbors, but that will soon change. For now, we will relate our world's history. Glean from it what you can and pay attention to details. You are very close indeed to being in front of truths that have been kept out of sight. If you are ready to leave polarity consciousness behind for a moment, we will begin. To put everything in a nutshell, our world was at one point in its history at the brink of losing all coherence because of an imbalance in the perception of reality. We had been thrust into a drama of dark empirical predation fueling a parasitic demonic plague. To make it most clearly relevant to the world situation your people have before you, we shall explain it thus. Once we saw everything in terms of polarity, yet we had no true choice. What ability to choose we had was not fully empowered, yet the architecture was not in place for implementing what we as a civilization had agreed on. Here we will explain why. There is a vast marauding empire operating in the galaxy, to say it simply. Our world, being on the path of the mercenaries, came under the influence of their wiles, their hypnosis, their power. Not without some resistance, but we fell. There were stealthy plans made which our leaders bought into and traded our people's freedom for. One Pleiadian world after another became trapped in the snare of imperial wrath, and many families died. Slavery and violence destroyed what was left, and the secrets of time were pushed deep into memory. We transformed from a proudly free race into a splintered, controlled colony. More and more of our leadership fell in line with the Empire's script, or they fell completely. It was the time of remembering that saved us, finally, and the voices of those who sought to remind us of who we were, where we had come from, and why we had to lay our fear aside and join together, regardless of how much the Imperial influence had affected our path. We say these things to you now because you as a global population, diverse in the beauty of human expression, are yet splintered. Your memories cannot reach your awareness until you, as humanity, are integrated as the essential noble beings you are. The fact is, you have become accustomed to the splintering. So long has its influence been felt. So long the Empire has voraciously preyed upon your light. Many factions have you yet, and the comfort you may derive from the hypnotic drone of self-righteous exaltation of one way over another will eventually give way to an oppression so complete you will forget everything you now hold dear. We urge you to see within the dark heart you may perceive in another the light of sovereign humanity. When all else falls away as illusion, Together you may see that this light is all there is worth fighting for. Our history has had many dark turns. The point we wish to make now is a fine one and worth a few minutes reflection. 
the consequence of ignoring your own intuition, informed by the ideas and beliefs of hearsay and manipulators of truth, precedes entry into future potentials in which your free determination of your own path becomes limited by dread and regret. As relatives of the human family of Earth, we urge you to turn your inner eye toward the light that shines in unity, to the heart of your fear, to reach the light of fearlessness. When the truth is known, the voices of the established lie will fall silent. In that moment, having claimed your own knowing, you gain entry into a realm of future potentials which we heartily endorse. You have the open friendship of many worlds when you take your first steps upon that path. Now we will wish you all well as the world meets its destined point furthest from the heart of the sun. Listen for the silent whispers within the hustle and bustle of all that you have before you. More is coming, followed by great and highly anticipated change. Many will see strange things, and all will have the opportunity to see more than a little excitement. Be firm in your resolve to reclaim and integrate all that is human from your deep past and from your future. We greet you warmly with the love of compatriots in the greater realm of lighted awareness. Be open to gifts unexpected and for whispers from across time's expanse into your now. In peace, we sign this letter to your world with the universal signature of love until again we meet. This is Anika's postscript. Within the history here shared, your own may be discerned. Among the crowds and factions of perspectives in your world, hope is becoming a rare thing. As our brothers and sisters have related, your biggest threat is largely unseen, yet we of other stars know its imprint well. We urge you to see past the illusion so cunningly crafted into the reality that awaits. There we meet in reunion and joy.